In this video, I'm going to try and provide you with a few ideas that you can use to repair bottom roof truss cord damage. And this would be if it separates from any of the webbing, as we can see here. Now, the first thing I want to point out is I was looking at, um, you know, can you, can you pull these plates off? and then raise it back up and nail, fasten them back into the same holes. And according to some of the information I found on the internet, no, they don't want you doing that because it loses, I think, about 50% of its holding power. So if you could just imagine driving a nail into a hole, pulling it out, and then driving it back in, um, it's probably going to be a lot easier to pull it out the next time. And I think that's what they're talking about here. So these plates will probably need to be removed and um, discarded. You know, can you remove them and move them over um, a half inch or something like? Possibly. I didn't see any information on that. Um, so, but anyway, for the fix and repair that I'm going to provide you with in this, it's something that... I have seen done before and I think it's commonly used in the construction field. So this would be a bottom cord section separating from the webbing and uh, maybe the bottom cord if it was fastened together with one of these uh, gang nails here. First thing you need to do is remove the gang nails or the webbing connectors, put a jack underneath it. And don't forget to attach the jack to the webbing just in case the um, something gets loose here. I can't tell you how many times I put a jack in some type of a post underneath it and raised it up and then went to knock on something or raise it a little bit with my hand and then it uh, puts a little gap in here and wham, this thing falls over. So this is a good idea. I've mentioned this before in my videos. So the webbing would be like this after you remove the gang nails or the web connectors and then simply raise it up. After you have properly positioned the bottom cord and everything is nice and tight, you can simply add a piece of plywood, uh, half inch plywood, three quarter inch plywood. Make sure it's a structural grade plywood. And uh, the information I found on the internet, they were calling out for 10D nails. I will leave that up to you. And I think it was about four inch on center staggered nailing. And uh, that would be four inches, four inches, and then kind of go in the middle to stagger the nail and then start going four inches again on center. But I'd be worried about that splitting the wood. If you drive a couple of uh, 10D nails in and it splits the wood, you might want to go to 8D nails or... Um, I don't know. I really don't. Once you start splitting the wood, you're defeating the purpose of the repair. And if that's the case, you might actually need to replace the framing components themselves. Um, and and, and that uh, I'll leave that up to you again. Remember, information I share with you in these videos might not work for everyone. They're just kind of ideas. So uh, I, I think they called out for about a two foot board, two foot by about two foot. If you want, make yours three foot by three foot. The bigger, the better, I would imagine. And for the bottom cord where it is separated from the other bottom cord, uh, two by four and 10D, 16D nails would probably work better. And um, I would imagine 12 inches on center, staggered, something like that would be fine. And uh, this right here, they had different length boards. I remember looking at a website for repairs and, and remember information I'm sharing with you. I say this all the time. It might not work for you. Um, the information you find on the Internet might not work for you also while searching it. Remember, a uh, structural engineer is going to be your best bet for providing you with ideas. But if you only have one truss that's damaged, maybe a couple of trusses, uh, something like this should work. And of course, you need to monitor it. Make sure that you... After you've done the repair, you know, every once in a while, look up and see if everything's still holding and it's not creating a problem for the roof, maybe a big sag or something up on top. So two by four, eight foot long should work um, just fine. Put it in the center, four foot on each side. A 12 footer obviously is going to work better. 
and uh, again watch the nails for splitting the the existing wood the wood's going to be dry this wood's going to be dry and you know it could be 10 20 30 years old and you start driving nails and it's just going to split and go to town and if that's the case you might need to replace uh, the entire truss or make it into a conventionally framed unit um, or maybe replace some of the webbing you know but where do you where do you start and stop it you start replacing the webbing but this wood here splits um, you kind of defeating the purpose of it hope that makes sense and you can always add another piece to the other side and uh, for if you're a little more um, security or structural strength kind of a thing and i will leave it at that for this video hope it helps and uh, it is off to the next video